All right, motherfuckers, welcome to Pineapple Chunks, you chunky chunk fucks. Bitcoin is down. There's blood everywhere. There's You're not safe anywhere right now. The crypto market, the stock market. Where are you going to put your money now? Not everything is just manipulated and crashed by either Joe Biden, Elon Musk, or Satan himself. The blood does not stop, and it goes all the way down to fucking hell. What do you do? Buy the fucking dip. It's trending right now in the U.S. If you go on Twitter and you go on trending, it's, 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 it's buy the dip. Hashtag buy the dip. And if you're not doing that right now, um, it's maybe because you don't have enough funds. Um, but definitely don't take out credit because that's a really bad idea. But if you do have funds and you're not buying the dip, then I, I don't know what you're doing. Besides just sitting at home telling your dad and mom that you lost all your money on a silly dog coin. What are you going to do? In hindsight, we, you know, the top was in when all these celebs were promoting dog tokens. It's like, okay, all right, maybe I should sell. Maybe I shouldn't. But yeah, if, if you lost money today, and you, you probably lost money today, we all lost money today. Who, who are we, uh, who are we kidding? Yeah. Then uh, have no fear because unless you sold, things are gonna come back. Everything comes back. The markets work in cycles. Yeah. There's bull cycles and there's bear cycles, and the crypto market is still in a bullish cycle. We just had a massive dip, unfortunately. But uh, Kathy Wood kind of saved the day. So did Elon Musk, and so did Wells Fargo, with some bullish news. But Elon did at least, you know, he said that they're diamond handing, that Tesla's diamond handing. Tesla, diamond, and tweet. Well, he didn't explicitly say diamond hands either. He just put the emojis, which is, I, I guess, in core, if you wanted to fight against that, he really didn't say anything at all. He just said Tesla is diamond hand. I think it's right here. But um, speaking of the crypto space, look, anything can happen here. And uh, this is what we signed up for, right? Like we didn't, there it is. Tesla has diamond hands. Look, we. this is what we signed up for. As soon as Bitcoin hits $30,000, he tweets this thing and it shoots all the way up to 39,000. Um, so quite frankly, sir, there seems to be some level of a resistance around $30,000. And you can argue that you know we shouldn't be blaming blaming elon the market was already a little choppy to begin with sure bitcoin wasn't really holding up too well before the elon tweets but as soon as elon started tweeting and suggesting that T tesla sold its shares and that they're no longer accepting bitcoin to purchase teslas it took a massive dump and you can see a red candle a massive red dildo every time he tweeted you can pinpoint exactly when he tweeted to the Bitcoin drops. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just pure... Market. Pure, it just, it's disgusting manipulation. Manipulation. It's terrible. It's just horrid. 36730 That's where we're at right now. $36,000 a coin. 131 Whoa. Is that a billion? That's volume. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, damn. <laughs> oh, but that so is also a billion. The market cap of Bitcoin round is six hundred and ninety-two billion. Six hundred and ninety-two billion one hundred seven million six hundred forty-six thousand one hundred seventy-eight dollars. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> From its highs of over a trillion dollars. Yeah. That is a, a huge chunk of, of its market cap just gone. But what are we telling you here? You already know this, but you want to know about the altcoins, like I thought it was a super cycle. I thought it was a buy the dip, bro. No, no, it wasn't a super cycle. I said soup or salad. Oh, <laughs> you could have said that when I put in seven thousand dollars into this thing, man. No, but we're I gotta not. Learn how we're, to not talk later. we're not ninnies, okay? And I put in more than this. Lu has put more than this as well, and uh, definitely going to be ordering only appetizers at restaurants now. Um, but things are going to be only apps. Things and are going to be fine. And we're bringing our own alcohol or we're, we're pre-gaming for restaurants. Pre-gaming. You're on out. Which it's the way it should always be, you know? 
always. You don't want to spend five dollars on a beer. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. But look, Bitcoin is down thirty six percent from its all time highs. Actually, no, a little more than that. But one thing to take away is that in its previous bull market back in 2017, it experienced a whole variety of of dips that were within this range from 20% to even 40%. In comparison, this dip is pretty on par with bull market Bitcoin, especially because we haven't had a dip like it, like this at all during its uptrend. Which, you know, in hindsight is unhealthy. It needed a correction and, and this dip was bound to happen at some point. We just did not expect Elon Musk to be the catalyst here. Uh, a 38 to 40% dip right now is not bad. I'd be a little more concerned if it were like touching 50%. That's a little, that's a little like, whoa, okay, I've never seen this before. But the dip right now we have is very similar to the coronavirus dip, right? When coronavirus and everything went, went shut down in March, on March 12th. We had a very similar dip with a very similar wick right here at the bottom. Do you have the chart pulled up? Yeah. This Tra- is trading view. We had a we had a wick touching thirty thousand dollars for Bitcoin, and that wick basically uh, it, it means that the price touched thirty thousand dollars, but it immediately got bought right back up. Yep. And that's a really good sign because it means, uh, well, well, one, it means there was a lot of manipulation by a lot of people with a large, amu- a large amount of funds selling and selling until they can get to this price target and buy at a really cheap price. But it also means that since it got bought up really quickly, there's a lot of demand right. for Bitcoin still. Uh, this wick also happened to be coordinated with Tesla tweeting, you know, Tesla has diamond hands and, and Kathy Wood saying that Bitcoin is going to $500,000. So um, 500000 Five hundred thousand dollars at Bitcoin, right? So take that all with a, with, a, with a grain of salt. Um, but but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we're out of the bull market just yet. That wick is a really good indicator that people are still looking for Bitcoin and, and it's high in demand. Um, but there is there is clearly manipulation going on. If we even look at the China FUD or the China uh, news that they're banning Bitcoin for what the tenth, twelfth time, China bans right. Bitcoin all the time and then unbans it. So does India. It's very like. It's getting it's getting it's old, normal. but it's pretty consistent. But people don't really know that newbies like maybe you or or, 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 or or someone else like your family don't they don't know that. So they're here, then they're like, oh my gosh, we gotta sell everything because China is one of you know one of the leading countries in the world, and they're banning crypto. That's a, not a good sign. Um, but that happens all the time, ladies it, and gentlemen. Yeah, it, it really happened. Is. It happened in 2017. It happened in 2016. It's just, Probably it's, it's going to keep on happening because China wants to buy up cheap Bitcoin. That's just the way it is. Y'all don't know how China works. They don't even have Google out there. Like I'm telling you, like they, it's, the China is, is, is a completely regulated system. And you know what? Yeah, it's scary news, but, and you're probably wondering, man, why should I be into this coin, this cryptocurrency that's easy to manipulate? I mean, the market cap, I mean, if you think about it, the high of Bitcoin, like how we're saying is a trillion dollars, but what's the market cap of the total U S stock market? It's a lot more. It's around 21 trillion. And that's even manipulated. Yeah. You can even still manipulate that. Right. Right. So if you think about it relative to what the crypto market space, like in total is like around a trillion or plus or whatever, but it's, 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 it's nothing compared to, uh, what, what we see in the stock market. And I mean, of course it's going to happen. So as soon as more people come in, more people start looking at it. You know, I, I remember it was only like 3% of the world is e- even transacts with Bitcoin um, at all, uh, uses it or invests in it. It's just a store of value. It's not even like a currency anymore. So, you know, there's a lot of things to keep in mind. So there's we still have the summer, right? And uh, if any of you have lost a ton of money, my heart goes out to you. Um, I've also lost a ton of money. Ellie's lost a ton of money. Shout out to the family. Yeah. Shout out to his family. Yeah. Yeah, but for those of you who lost everything because you invested into uh, <sighs> what's the Shiba, Shiba, uh, another one that uh, lost ton of money was uh, was pregnant, but pregnant, but all of you, all all gone. That was a total hey, hey, hey. Carlos moment. Yeah. So. You know, shout out to you guys. Um, hopefully everything works out. Go get a job. Definitely get a job uh, and make McDonald's some money. McDonald's hiring. And uh, don't quit. You know, we've all blown up a bag. Don't feel bad. I mean, we've all blown up a bag. I mean, I've blown up a bag. Ellie's blown up a bag. Blowing up an account. 
Um, it's part of the process. It's, it's part of learn. the process. But as long as you just keep going forward, you keep on making money, you get a job, build up your skills, and keep on investing, you know, there's going to be another time where you're going to make a better decision. For example, in 2017, I made a buttload of money, but I was brand new to the space. I didn't really know much about trading or, or risk and reward ratios or just, you know, taking profit. So uh, the bear market came around and I lost a good majority of all that profit that I had made. This time around, though, I had that experience and I made even more money, uh, magnitudes more than what I did last bull market. And I actually took profit this time. And now, you know, sure, everything's dipped, but at least I took profit. At least I have some money now to actually change my life in a productive way. Um, I haven't sold any of my positions. Granted, I still think we're in a bullish, uh, in, in a bullish market, and, and things are going to recuperate because honestly, there's just it's too big to fail at this point. But yeah, yeah. and what kind of loser sells at the bottom? No, like, I'm no, not selling. Yeah. I'm like, you know, only only if you have the ability to get into real estate, right? Like if you have good credit, you have um some income you know you have a job and now you have a down payment if if you still have the money to get out and you know you're concerned about what's going to happen get into the real estate that's the whole point people wouldn't even invest in the first place you know real estate is the most secure uh, investment that you can make and it's one that actually produces you dividends this is just a speculative asset so keep that in mind that this isn't going to last very long but it still has a way to go in my opinion and Ellie's opinion and, and there's uh, a lot of good things that are coming out of this little dip right now. We have really good memes coming out. Twi Twitter, Twitter's on fire right now. It's hilarious. It's a really good source of entertainment if you're not already on crypto Twitter. Yeah. Um, and there's a there's a good amount of buying opportunities. Some things I recommend are Matic, um, Solana, Ethereum, Cardano specifically. Cardano, um, yeah. BNB, um, and and yeah, all the chain coins. Really, all the coins that are tied to their own networks are looking very oh, promising i mean they yeah. even recovered really well cardano man i gotta say i think that's probably the biggest content like that's probably the one that i'd probably use the the cash that i have set aside in my bank account cardano is looking really it's at one dollar and 48 cents they don't even have a product yet no product great marketing already have an ecosystem building up it's just it's crazy man it's charles hoskinson he knows what he's doing smart guy 47 billion and he and he hangs out with elon musk so i mean because they're billionaires together so three comma club billionaires three comma club and uh yeah uh, solano you said let's see where solano is mm, no can't find it let's look at pancake swap honestly i want to see so pancake swap is sitting at 15 dollars that is a steal. That is a buying opportunity. Gentlemen. That is a steal, especially because they have very close ties with Binance, the largest crypto exchange in the world. They are homies, basically, and they are building something together to allow normies like our viewers and, and family members to participate in the decentralized world of finance. With low fees and Binance coin, even even the almost the golden reserve of this decentralized, centralized space is at three hundred and eleven dollars and thirty six cents compared to its high of like six hundred dollars and, and seventy six hundred seventy dollars that's just, just buy the dip stupid just buy the hit yeah just buy it just buy the fucking dip it's what jerome powell would do it's it's what david ghetto would do and really what else do you need Oh, I gotta pull it. I didn't even pull it up. I thought I thought I was zooming in on it. So fifteen dollars. <laughs> I damn, you didn't even see it. Uh, two dollars and twenty-two cents, and uh, then we got you know buy the stupid freaking dip in Binance Coin. I know it hurts, but you gotta keep on going. You don't stop running the marathon when you're one mile away from the finish line. You just keep on trucking, and this is what you signed up for, you sissy. So don't paper hands. You diamond hands all the way through until you're broke or you made enough money to buy a freaking house and whatever you like to buy maybe you want a rolex maybe you don't want a house maybe you want a freaking mclaren but or an apple know. watch or an apple <laughs> yeah I mean, you might be a simple man or woman i saw a meme today where it was like uh i sent it to you where it was like oh you, uh, buddy's complaining that they lost $500 in crypto it's like you only made $500 you already lost but <laughs> it's like you're already losing <laughs> or it's like look if you make any amount of money it's good but yes you know what 
I think uh, when you're losing more than ten thousand dollars a day, that's when you can uh, complain like us. So, um, it's been it's been a matter of a few weeks that it's been a complete bloodbath. Everybody's felt the pain, um, but uh, we're still buying the dip. I don't recommend Dogecoin, but hey, you know it looks kind of appetizing. We don't recommend anything. This isn't a financial advice. Uh, do we want to talk about the stock market? Yeah, you know what? I had a couple things that I want to point out for the stock market. Airbnb, super cheap. Um, Airbnb stock, very cheap. $138, been coming up on the climb. Even amidst this falling knives, they had a killer earnings or a great recovery play. I mean, they had a peak of $180. Oh, no, actually, just kidding. I think they touched 200 They were, t yeah, $216 a share. They're at 138 right now. Freaking steal have to say that's a stock that i'm buying um you know right now and i'll uh, have some options in i mean look i've lost substantial amount of money both stocks and crypto um but i'm not i'm not uh i'm not um i'm not dead yet you don't give up you don't give up not with the market unless you're broke and you gotta unless, get a job unless you're broke. i know for a fact you know crypto is gone like if this is actually it me, like unemployment numbers are gonna shoot down there's going to be way more people look getting jobs. Yeah. There are going to be way more people getting jobs. Yeah. If Bitcoin is dead for the next couple of years. Which a lot of people are just betting on their doge, hitting $1, and just living off that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah doge is going to take a while to hit a dollar. Who knows, though? Elon Musk can come up with a tweet and just say, I'm, buy I'm using Dogecoin to sell Teslas. You know? That so. is true. Yeah. He could do anything, and that really is concerning how much power this dude has yeah with the whole market with the whole asset class so uh, let's see what happens yeah. to him so anyway wait so what is your conviction with airbnb well airbnb they're like i said a, a great recovery play they are just recently ipo'd this year um like they've reached a peak of 200 and uh, sixteen dollars a share. They're sitting at one hundred thirty-eight dollars a share. You know, um, I was listening to a Dumb Money episode, and they talked about how their earnings call. They have a great outlook for the future, and at the same time, I'm using Airbnb. Like, so usually when I'm using products that that I like, the service is great. I'm not necessarily going to go away from. I mean, when when we finish getting our property, which we're going to be closing on, expecting in July, by the way. So we'll fill you in on all those details. We'll do an episode on the inspection process, what you should and shouldn't do for buying a house, if you want to take these gains somewhere and make some real long-term money. Airbnb is the place to to use it, and you know, even banks are starting to qualify income from Airbnb uh, hosts. So, for example, if you have income from a property from Airbnb, banks are looking before it didn't look at that as qualifiable income, just like they don't look at stocks as qualifiable income unless you're a day trader. But now banks are actually willing to see that as qualifiable income because they see the security of it, the, the, the consistency of it. So it won't get taxed as much? Well, it's not that it won't get taxed. It's you're still going to get taxed. It's just a matter as of. Much, I'm saying. Well, no, you'll still get taxed on it. It's just income. Okay. The thing is that, so for example, if I make $70,000 a year with an uh, independent contractor, let's say with my, you know, um, you know, this is my dog walking business and uh, some other things that I do with real estate and say do 100000 a year, right? With real estate and dog walking and, and then I also, let's say I make $10,000 uh, and uh, let's say I make, let's say I make $30,000 in stocks. That thirty thousand dollar profit is not qualifiable. So I made gross around, let's say, one hundred thirty. So one hundred with the independent contractor business, and then thirty thousand with stocks or something. Um, th that thirty thousand dollars is not going to be qualifiable for for a, for a bank so because it's not Airbnb consistent. So income is qualifiable. You can even use that to, to get a mortgage. To get a another, mortgage and get more, more investment more properties. Airbnb properties. Yeah. Wow, awesome! Exactly. That's cool. So you can get better loans, better deals. So that's What's something great that's is going like on now. The mask mandates are being lifted everywhere. Right, right. So people at, are traveling at, at, at lightning speed. So people are traveling. People are just more comfortable now. So Airbnb is likely to shoot up hotels as well. But Airbnb is really just trying to give that movie experience to its users. At least that's kind of what their mission statement is all about. And really, yeah. they they do a good job at it too. Like I feel like I'm in a movie when I go to an Airbnb. Like it, it's it's pretty lively stuff. 
So another one is uh, Coinbase. Um, listen to their earnings call the other day, and I have I, it goes over my head. I mean, if you listen, you should listen to earnings call. But the amount of things they have planned for the future uh, with crypto and allowing more individuals, more coins, they're honestly a huge competitor to Binance because they are working so closely with the United States. The IRS are very compliant and they were the first compliant uh, crypto exchange and they're also the first public crypto exchange that we see and at their $224 a share I remember when this thing IPO'd nobody thought we were going to be able to get this below $440 it's at but a steal right now it hasn't had any green days really I, I mean, it's at a total steal this is a great stock I really believe in the company I believe in the founders I think they're going to do fantastic the you know the things that we've already seen possible in the decentralized space with Binance and the altcoins if Coinbase can do it legitimately and, and make their own market and almost be like their own NASDAQ of the crypto space it's going to be ex insane and they start validating and auditing tokens huge and not to mention that right now binance is the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world i'm sure the u.s does not like that one bit because they're not based in the u.s so their incentive to work with coinbase which is already like a very established cryptocurrency exchange and based in the u.s is really high because they want the best cryptocurrency they want the best of anything to come from the united states so they're obviously going to make everything work or try to have everything work out so that coinbase ends up at the top yeah they're really they're really uh yeah you know the the fact that there's so much competition in the space is is just really positive and and i think it's just going to breed innovation and so coinbase and then my last and my you know one of my favorite ones is uh coca-cola so Coca-Cola is one of the greatest stocks I think that has ever existed. Um, <laughs> by on by all means, I okay, mean look Warren at this. Buffett. No, it really is just a great stock. I, I mean, there's so much um, demand for Coca-Cola. They, they just they have so many other products. Um, obviously, this is more of a safer play, but I like it. I'm not going to stay on it too much. I mean, we all get Coca-Cola. And uh, the the other one, let me see if I remember. Oh, wait a minute. I have to, right here. Not Tesla stock. I feel like I'm at Burning N Man. Not Tesla. Not this one. Dude, there's a cryptocurrency called F Tesla. I'm not going to say the whole world, but it was F Tesla. And it shot up when Tesla, well, it, it was created when Tesla created all those tweets and made Bitcoin dump and they created the, the F Tesla token and it shot up like thousands of thousands of percent. Where do you find it? Uh, PooCoin. You go to PooCoin. Oh, PooCoin. So PooCoin uh, is a charting software web app, kind of like TradingView. I'm sure they use like a similar API. F Tesla. <laughs> You found it? Yeah, $4 million market cap. That's crazy, dude. $4 million worth... $4 million worth of dollars is, is in a, in, in a, an F Tesla, a coin called F Tesla. Wow, it's really boomed. Yeah. Yeah, forget Tesla, man. Um, they're going to be going down for a while. I mean, look, long-term play, they're a great company, but if they're trying... If they have beef with China... And China decides to shut down their Tesla factory, huge trouble. They're gonna be a lot of trouble. And oh, I didn't even know about that. Actually, yeah, think about that. I mean, look, we don't know what's going on because Elon goes ahead and front runs China's ban by saying we're not gonna accept Bitcoin anymore and also all electricity usage. And then China comes out with the news again saying they're gonna ban crypto. Yeah, like he, Elon kind of made it obvious he wasn't a fan of China holding the majority hashing power in the world for Bitcoin and the amount of energy that's being used, which really isn't that much. There's a lot of renewable energy that's used for mining Bitcoin, FYI. I think Elon was a little misinformed, but yeah, that, that does create he's in some- trouble. I think he's in trouble with China. Just Tim Foyle though. Mm -hmm. But we'll see, maybe he's not. But if that happens, Tesla's gonna go, th it's gonna go down for a little bit. It's gonna be a lot of problems. It's not that they're gonna go bankrupt, but they're gonna have a lot of challenges. Let's see, PubeCoin, one of our uh, 
our prized uh, proudly unwashed balls empire. This is a good one um, that we've got into. It's just a meme coin, but obviously hasn't done great. What's the market? Two freaking million. Jesus, this is no, this hurts. 2. 7. This 2. hurts. 7. This hurts. I have to say, but look. It's two point seven. Man, million. is this really gonna come back? Look at this. <laughs> it honestly looks like the Bitcoin chart. So you know, this is one we don't recommend. This one, but I, I'm in it because it just you know these are just meme coins that you just put into because if you have the money, why not? And you want to play it, you whatever. Um, well, the thing with meme coins is you can put a very small amount and just pretend and just forget about it, consider yeah. it lost, and it could make you. It has the potential to give you thousands percent. I mean, this is ten x already. I mean, this was at twenty million at one point, so. You know, you put it in now, and if we're not at the end of the cycle, you could 10x your money. And this, you can trade Easily. this on pancake yeah. swap. So you put in two grand. What's two grand times 10? That's $20,000. Mm -hmm. Just about. It's a down payment on a house. Let's go, baby. So, I mean, look, we're, we're obviously, we're obviously doing okay. Um, but in the stock market, we're, it's, it's not that appetizing. At the end of the day, it's just a matter of what you can stomach. It sucks to lose money, but hey, this is what you signed up for. You're blessed at the end of the day if you're still in this. And uh, don't be a paper handing sissy because at the end of the day, you got to be strong. The weak don't survive. No uh, soy boy beta cock, please. Just diamond <laughs> hands all around. Thank you very much. So with that, I, uh, I would say diamond hands. But obviously, don't take any of our advice. We're not financial advisors. You will lose all your money. Granted, you might have already lost all your money. Yeah, so, I mean, what do you got to lose? Nothing, really. I mean, we don't. Always These have money ready on the side, all right? Like, have a fund that protects you, at least with a year's worth of income or something. So, I don't know. Figure it out.